Hi folks, today I want to share something very different than the usual rumors. I have been featured on the special Christmas edition of Amateur Photographer. The cover image is an image I created using EI. And as you can see from the cover, there are two interviews, one with me and one with Steve McCurry. Steve McCurry is a world known photographer. You surely remember that image and that photo from the Afghan girl. So I was very honored to create the cover for this and also be featured in an interview. As a photographer, I it's sort of strange to have an AI image that gets featured and not a real photo, but there are two reasons why I'm digging currently in the AI. The first reason is that I'm really interested to see how those AI tools are competing with more classic photography, what kind of businesses will be affected. The second reason was kind of a very personal reason. As you know, I use Sony cameras to take my real images, but sometimes I'm not really satisfied with the layout of the camera. I think uh, Sony is too conservative. I would love to have a more design mature product. And so I'm having fun changing the design of the Sony cameras, sometimes of course in total absurd way. And this is kind of a funny game I'm sharing on my Instagram channel and their amateur photographers saw me and they liked the images and so they interviewed me to ask me how I created those images and how I what I think as a photographer about the new AI tools. There are two things I can say. First of all, this is an inevitable process. AI already won, there is no way to stop it. Even if you make uh, legislation in one country, in some other country, those AI tools will go further. So um, there's no way out from this. The second thing I think where I see an opportunity for photographers and where I surely saw some positive development for myself is that if you're a photographer, you know how to create images as a photographer. You know how the light should be, what the focal length should be, the depth of field and so forth. And when you create images using AI tools, you can prompt the command thinking at your image like you're doing now when you shoot with a real camera. So for example, you describe the scene taken with a wide shot, with a macro shot, the tilt shift lens, what kind of light you have, artificial light, natural light, what kind of style, you can even apply stylus on it like a film style, you can say like I want Velvia or a Kodak kind of uh, look. And the AI tool is really good in creating those kind of images. I think it's still very hard to create the perfect image you have in your mind because simple things are easy to create, complicated things. AI really goes his own way, so it's very complex. As of now, I don't think AI can create complex photos that are based on what you really need. I wouldn't be afraid as a professional photographer to lose my job or lose any business opportunity. AI will replace some kind of mass illustrations, stock photography and that kind of stuff. But if you need a certain kind of image or photo for your work, AI is not going to give you that image. There are too many variables and interpretation and it's very hard still as of today to get the image that I really want. This might change in the future, my, maybe in a couple of uh, months or one year, two years, there will be more powerful tools. Uh, could be. I know that AI is now also starting to get okay for short videos, which is also interesting. I think you photographer using AI tools, you can edit your images, your real images in a different way, which can be very productive. You can also create completely non-photos, pure AI images using your photographer skills. So I see an opportunity for a new kind of market for us photographers, where we use our skills to create different kinds of images. On the other side, just to conclude this video, I see also a different trend right now, which is going into the classic film direction. So 35 medium format film, which gives you two main advantages. First of all, you have proof that you have a real photo. You have a chemical proof. It's clear that this is an original image, which you think is super. And also the second advantage is that you have a built-in style in the film and you don't need to work a lot on Photoshop or whatever, but you have a clear recognizable style. That simplicity and directness is something that I really do like. So in general for 2024, for us photographers, I think we should not only focus on our normal digital photography but also on AI photography and on classic film photography. Those will be the two trends coming in 2024 in my opinion. So anyway, if you have some uh, interesting points to make or arguments, please comment this post. I will read your comments and I uh, will keep you up to date with all that innovation coming in 2024 when in my next videos. See you soon folks!